back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here for this video. Today we're going to do some spring decorating in my living room and I can't wait. It has been a bit of a blank slate since after the holidays and I'm just really excited to liven up this space with some greenery, um, some different textures, some florals, and really just bring it to life. So I hope you guys are excited for some spring decorating inspiration. I'm actually going to start this video off kind of decor haul style and um, just share some of the pieces that I think I'll be using in this space. I've sort of mapped it out in my mind ahead of time. Um, I like to usually do that instead of just going in with a complete blank slate and no idea with what I'm doing because that can kind of get overwhelming at times. So I'm going to share the pieces that I have picked for this space. They are all laid out across my couch right now, so we'll hop over there in just a moment. Some of the pieces are from our shop. If you're new, we own an online interior decor shop called House and Home, and I am really excited to share some of those pieces. And I have just some odds and ends, random things that I have grabbed either at Target, um, an antique store, just random things that I already had in my home. I also bought a new tree from Target and I'm so excited about this piece. I think that it is going to just completely transform this space. So I can't wait to add that in here. Um, one other thing that I did and I'll share a little before and after here for y'all is we have this little table that I got from Facebook Marketplace uh, several years ago. We used this back in our old home and loved it so much, but it had gotten so scuffed up over time, especially through our move. And I know I've mentioned in a few videos here that I've just been dying to paint that and just retouch it. So um, it is the same color that I used in our last home. I will share that with y'all. It is really random, um, but I'll have that down in the video description if you want to check it out. It's actually a mixture of two different colors that we kind of mixed together and decided that we loved. So anyway, that is also in this video. It's freshened up. I'm really excited to have a blank slate and get to decorate that. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the couch and I'll share some of the pieces that I have collected for today's video. Before we jump right in, I'd like to take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, which is Magic Spoon. You know, our kids love cereal for breakfast most mornings, but unfortunately, a lot of today's cereal brands are loaded with sugar and unwanted ingredients. We can feed our kids a Magic Spoon knowing that they are getting a nutrient-packed start to their day. Magic Spoon cereal has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Magic Spoon is adult and kid approved in our home. Our kids absolutely love Magic Spoon cereal and devour their bowls in the morning. There are so many amazing flavors from peanut butter to cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, cinnamon, and so many more. My current favorite is the maple waffle. It is to die for. Click the link down below to get your very own Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your own variety box and use my code house and home for $5 off. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. Guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. So just click the link down below and use the code house and home for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com backslash house and home to save $5 off your order today. And for my Canadian and British friends, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the UK. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, I've kind of got a blank slate behind me, but I have a bunch of different pieces here that I'm going to be using, hopefully, in this space. So, first and foremost is actually a new arrival to house and home, and I have not shared this on YouTube before, so I'm really excited to show y'all. These are floral footed bowls, and they are beautiful. They come as a set of four. Let me get them up close here so you can see just the coloring is so springy. They would also work great through summer so there's four different ones and they actually have a really pretty 
rounded lip to them. I don't know if the camera will pick that up for y'all to see, but they're just unique, they're beautiful, and I'm really excited to bring these into this space. I think they're gonna add just the perfect uh, little touch of color to this area. And then I love this one here. This one has a little more yellow to it and some pinks. Now this one I have shared before and I'm so excited to bring this into this space. It feels like the perfect springy piece. This is a found seltzer bottle and so it is a used piece. When you purchase these you'll notice that there is some liquid in there. You can't get it out. They're impossible to open. Uh, but this is how they were designed to be. They're literally found pieces. So this is something you'd find at like an antique market or something like that. Just a really cool piece and I'm so excited that we have these in the shop so really excited to incorporate this piece into this space this next one is from house and home and this is a beautiful cans grass and date leaf basket and I absolutely love the handle on this one you can have it sitting up or it can lay down gently to the side I love the coloring of this and just all of the texture that it's going to bring to this space. You could stuff this full with a pillow, a throw blanket. You could even put books or magazines in here. Um, I think this one's just so good. These wheatgrass stems are um, artificial stems that we added to the shop a week or two ago, and they are so pretty. I don't know how there are any left in the shop, but I made sure to grab some. So I am excited to add these to this space. The coloring on these is so pretty. I love the green. It's almost like a muted green and then there's like a mauve color to it as well. I love these so much. They're so great for just sticking in a pitcher, a vase, um, a crock. You could put them in a planter. I actually have five bunches of these here because I wanted to have some options. So um, you can see how full three of them are together. So anyway, I'm really excited to use these. I feel like throws are just a must in a living room. And so I grabbed our floral throw from House and Home. It has some fringe detail on the bottom and I just loved this one so much. I've had my eye on it for a long time and I am glad to finally have one of my own. Now, one thing that I love so much about this one is it's very lightweight. So it is perfect for spring and for summer. And I'm thinking I might have this one hanging on a hook on the wall just to add some texture and then it's so fast and easy to just take it off the wall and curl up on the couch. I also grabbed our terracotta pots pillow. This one is so nice and we only have a couple of these left in the shop but I just love that this one is really neutral but yet it does have that design on the front so it kind of draws your eye to it. I'm either going to put this in the chair behind me or maybe on our couch. We'll see as I start decorating. I brought these bowls out as well and I'm not positive that I'm going to use them but I wanted to have some options especially with decorating a mantle. I've got our coffee table and then also the little table um, that's on the side wall here. So um, just wanted to have some options. These are also from our shop. They are speckled. They have so much texture and character. These are probably some of my favorite bowls that we've ever carried in our shop. They um, can be used for decor. You can also use them as like little berry bowls. You can have appetizers sitting in them. Um, they're just so cute and I love that speckled detail on them. So they are sold as a set of two. And then another piece that I have that I might just pop into these bowls as I'm decorating is a piece that I found from a local antique shop and I thought this was so stinking cute. So I might just add this to break up the whites and just add a little touch of wood. I also grabbed a candle from our shop because it's not spring without a springy scent going through the air. So. This is our mango and coconut. It is so fresh. It's just like a beachy tropical scent and it's not too sweet, not too strong. But one thing I love about our candles is that they're soy and there's no harmful chemicals in them. They're made with a cotton wick and they actually disperse the scent. So I know oftentimes with soy candles, you can have it burning in one room and walk to the next room and have no idea that there's a candle burning in the house, but that's not the case with these. These are so good um, and they don't give me a headache, which I love because I'm really sensitive to different scents and especially to um, certain candles. So I love the Sweetwater Decor line that we have in our shop.
It seriously smells so good. It smells like I'm at the beach. Okay, I've got just a couple other pieces to share, and then there are some bigger ones that I'm not gonna lift just because of my arm. I mentioned the tree, which you'll see shortly. I've got a mirror from World Market and then a lamp from Target. So I will be bringing those into this space and you'll see those shortly. Um, I've got this beautiful cloche. I've shared these a couple times just because I love them so much. This is from House and Home. It's got a mango wood base, and mango wood is such a beautiful wood, and I love how it looks with our um, fireplace mantle and then it has this gorgeous little cloche top and it's made out of glass so I love these because you can throw a little plant in there if you want to you can throw a candle in there there's so many different ways that you can use these and they even look cute and pretty. this wooden crate with five little glass bud bases is the perfect staple piece for this new season that we're entering. Spring and summer means all things flowers and stems, whether they are artificial or real. This is such a simple way to add decor to any space and you can swap your stems out with each season. I'm really excited to incorporate this in my living room decor for spring. I could see this being really cute on a fireplace mantle, just being in the center with some cute little stems. Um, you could also put this out on a little table, so I might test that out as well. Um, but this is so, so, so good. So originally I was thinking that I might put these little guys in here, but I'm thinking they might be a little bit too tall. So. Uh, I'm gonna just rummage through some of my uh, stems that I already have and see what I can come up with. But this is such a cute piece. I love this hanging basket so much. It is from House and Home as well. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm contemplating about this. I'm gonna test it out, but I'm thinking about putting it up in this corner over here and having my tree on this side. But it might take a little bit of messing around with it to decide exactly how I want it. But this basket is just too good. I do have some ferns that I purchased from Amazon last fall I think I found them on sale and I thought they'd be great for a front porch but now I'm wondering how that would look in here hanging inside so again my goal is to bring in some greens some different stems and just like make this place kind of feel just livened up and bright and airy and fresh and so um, I might test that out and see how it looks I am loving how this table looks now that it's painted. It just blows my mind how much a fresh coat of paint can really make a difference. And it's so funny because it is the same color that it was before, but it's just nice and fresh and there's no scuff marks or old paint showing through. So it's a 50-50 mix of putty and champlain by Fusion Mineral Paint. That is what we used on that little side table. Now I'm just adding some cozy pieces to my wall. I love this old found shelf that we have in here with the little hooks. That one is from our shop. Unfortunately, it's no longer available, but it is a piece that I love so much. And you're gonna see here today in this video that I'm going through a couple of spaces more than once. I didn't feel like I was loving the mantle in particular and then the little end table. So I did come through and change things up throughout the video. I love this little box with the bud vases and I ended up cutting the wheatgrass stem that I got from our shop and I think it looks so cute, but I just didn't love it on the mantle. I think it was too much wood, too many warm tones. So you're actually gonna get to see that at the end of this video in a different spot in our home and I really love where I ended up putting it. Y'all, I just love this basket so much. It is perfect for spring and summer and honestly is such a timeless piece that you really could use it year round. I love that I can just toss a little throw pillow in here, a blanket, some books or magazines, and it's just such a great functional piece of decor. So we are actually running a sale on this basket this weekend only. If you use the code flash sale, you're gonna get $9 off of this basket, which makes it only $40. $9.99. This is the lowest it will ever be marked down. So make sure you go and check it out and take advantage of the sale. I'll have it linked down in my video description below.
So here's my second go at the mantle. I really just wanted something simple up here. If I am being completely transparent with y'all, I loved our fireplace when we painted it and did this antiquing wax technique. It's one of my favorite techniques that we've done on furniture. We've done it on multiple pieces um, over the last couple of years. However, now that I have lived with it for a while, I'm realizing that I really want something lighter. I feel like it's too dark. So stay tuned. I may or may not be switching things up with a fireplace mantle. Um, I just want it to be easier to decorate and not feel so dark in that space. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But I did have Chad hang this beautiful jute hanger and I'm so excited. I filled it with the rest of those wheat grass stems so I had four of them in there and I love how it looks. And then I also ended up running back up to my decor closet and finding this double brick mold. This is a piece that we used to sell in our shop. We sell the single brick mold now, but unfortunately the double brick mold has been discontinued. But I decided to bring that in here and I think it looks perfect. I'm so happy with that addition. Got to show y'all this beautiful olive lumbar pillow this one's from our shop and I have loved having it out here on the couch it's just super cozy it would also look really pretty on a bed and then here I'm just creating a super simple little centerpiece for our coffee table so I've got one of those canvas book boxes and a plant this one is from Target I think it was threshold maybe hearth and hand and then I'm putting our cloche here with the coasters on the inside and I think that it's just a great little addition it's super functional we can grab a coaster when we need it but it doesn't take up too much space on the table because we have been known to play a game or two of uno on this table so it's not too much to move out of the way and be able to use this space Thank y'all so much for tuning in for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some spring decorating inspiration. Stay tuned because we have yet to decorate my kitchen, my dining room, my half bath. I've got so much fun stuff in store and I can't wait to share with y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.